welcome, welcome to episode three of HGV Talks. My name's Breezy, and this is the, if you didn't get it, third episode. Uh, last episode, we talked about dealing with chat and dealing with feedback from people and things like that. Something along those lines. And I know I kind of switched up and talked about, you know, getting content up on different platforms and that type of stuff. Uh, today, since I'm recording this just after Thanksgiving, us just passed. I uh, figured how about just you know, how the holidays were and stuff like that. Uh, my Thanksgiving was actually really, really good. Food. I feel like everyone I talked to this year, they said that their food was just like, for some reason, on another level, which is so good. I don't know. Maybe the turkeys were just better this year or something. Who knows? But food was really good. Um, the get together was really fun. Later on that night, I got to hang out with uh, one of my best friends couple other friends too who I haven't seen in a while so that was always good um one of the things that does suck about <laughs> the holidays well good and bad thing about the holidays when you do content creating and streaming is uh <laughs> going up to your family and your aunt and your grandmother and your cousins and like so what have you been up to what are you doing for work and it's like huh I play video games Pretty much and they're like hmm. and how do you make it's almost the same conversation every single time it's oh what have you been doing what are you doing for work now i say i play video games like really like and i was like yeah i stream video games on facebook you know they're like how do you make money doing that I'm like well people donate I'm like same same phrase every single time so people watch you play video games and then donate money to you i'm like uh-huh like is it like enough money to live off? I'm like, I mean, it fluctuates, but you know, for the most part, I'm doing pretty well. That's why I'm continuing to do it. But it's, man, it's the same conversation every single time. And then, you know, it's been a couple holidays that since I've been doing this full time. So, you know, now some of my family's like, oh, how's the streaming going? Or how's your gaming going? Or they call it a bunch of different things, but it's always a... The first few holidays were definitely worse. This year wasn't so bad because... Oh, well, Thanksgiving wasn't so bad because... Um, it's been... We've had enough birthday parties and... Just events over the year that I've seen them enough times and... Had the conversation enough times, so it's only a couple people. Um, I had a cousin who I haven't seen in a, lot of t a long time who... I had no idea, so explaining to her was kind of funny. But... Yeah, the holidays is always a... Uh, interesting time in general uh, especially after covid you know it seems like holidays were kind of postponed or it was always weird getting into big get togethers and seeing all your family and just kind of feels good to get back to it it seems normal this year even though i had covid you know a little over a month ago or about a month ago uh, i've been good since it's just good to see it's just not as big of a deal anymore you know people get covid they get sick get over it in a couple of days the treatments for it a lot better and just move on with your life. Um, one thing I've noticed when we get interested to go to my uh, grandmother's house for the Thanksgiving is that, man, I've put on weight. Not like, nothing like drastic, but definitely on the higher end of what I've ever been. Uh, I had just kind of started getting back into working out, you know, probably like two months ago or so. I started doing a better job. Because with full-time streaming, you know, I'm spending most of my time in this chair playing video games. And, you know, I used to do workouts on stream for every certain amount of stars or donations I got. Uh, but I stopped doing that for a while. Uh, but I think I might bring it back. I was, But anyway, I started doing some workouts. I started going to the gym again. I only went like two or three times. And then I got COVID. And... While I was sick, I couldn't do any workouts, and it's been over a month since I got sick, and I've been probably better for about a month, and the I just still don't have, like, the stamina to just exercise. You know, I try to do a little bit here and there, but it's I've noticed I've put on some weight, and it's definitely not easy to maintain a healthy lifestyle while streaming. Uh one of the things I need to do better for sure is food prep. 
Uh, I'm not a huge fan of meal preps and stuff like that because, you know, people get bored. You get bored of eating the same food a bunch of times. I'm, I'm a big foodie. You know, I like to eat really delicious things, and I know that I need to just get it in my head that when I'm eating, it's for nutrition and not for, you know, a splurge. You know, I need to make good meals be more of a treat rather than every single day, every meal needs to be delicious, you know. That's one of the, I think, one of the hardest things about dieting. Um, another thing I think I noticed, I've noticed this over the past probably year or two when it comes to me. Um, I think, I don't know, this probably goes for a lot of people, but when you try to go on a diet or start getting, you're like, you know, I'm going to lose weight. You know, I'm noticing I'm putting on weight. A holiday, after the holidays are done, you know, New Year starts, you say, I want to lose weight. You don't just say, all right, look at my diet. I'm going to start, you know, counting my calories and cutting out excess sugar and all that. No, you, people go full-blown diet. They find some schedule. They don't even, like, try to base it off what they're currently doing. They're just like, I'm going to go do this diet. Then I'm going to start going to the gym this many times a day. I'm going to start drinking all these waters. I'm going to do all. And, like, I think people do too much at once. And it's not sustainable. Like, you're not that person. You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. Like, I know that if I try to go to eating purely just, like, super really lean, healthy meals and doing, like, really solid amounts of workouts and not having any cheat meals or anything like that, I know within a couple of days my just the urge to do horrible decisions with meals is going to creep up and I'm just going to start eating Oreos and it's going to fall off the wagon pretty much. So I think the best way to do it is to just pick one thing at a time and kind of baseline what you're doing now. Because for me, you know, I sit around most of the day. I don't really work out much. I don't really walk around much. You know, I used to work a regular job. You know, you get, get 10,000 steps in very easily. So for where I'm at right now, where I'm not working out at all, literally zero workouts, um, eating pretty much just not paying any attention to it. I, I don't really, I don't think my baseline eating is like the worst, you know, I don't really eat horribly, I don't think, but definitely could be improved. So the first thing I'm going to think about, which I'm going to start doing probably tomorrow or maybe a Monday when I get back to stream is I'm going to start doing the workouts for the stars again so that the way it works is basically for every $10 I get throughout a stream I do a set of push-ups squats crunches or curls I have these 25 pound weights and that'll just give me something during the day you know the only thing that I find weird about doing that I did it for a really long time and it was always kind of like a fun thing but it just kind of felt like if, you know, I don't always get donations. I probably got $15 in donations this entire week. Like, it's not like you always get a lot of, you know, crazy big donos. Some days I feel like I work out a lot, and then some days I don't work out at all. And I kind of would like to just do it on my own terms. But it is kind of a fun little aspect, at least to do during the stream. Um, I'll have, I have it capped out so that I don't, like, overexert myself or hurt myself. So I think it, I just need to accept it just as what it is and not include it not base my workouts for the day on that like i need to whatever workouts i do on the stream is whatever it is on the stream i need to have a workout plan separate to the stream that i stick to that's one of the biggest things because if i have a day where i do all my workouts you know i hit all 20 or whatever it is i do you know i'll be i'll be a little tired i won't be like dead but i'll be pretty tired depending on how paced out it is and after that, you know, it's like, oh, you're going to go do your own workout now on your own time. You know, you're going to go for a run. You're going to lift some weights. You're going to, you know, what are you going to do? And I need to figure out a schedule for when I'm not streaming to work out. Because if I try to just base it off that, it ends up becoming like a game time decision. Like, you're going to work out or not? And I usually don't. So that's something I'm going to work on. I think first things first, I'm just going to, like I said, implement the star donations for the workouts to just get me moving throughout the day and i'll probably have just something simple um for a post stream and then eating i think i'm gonna go food shopping tomorrow 
Ooh, heartburn. Ooh. Another thing, I get really bad heartburn. Um, when I'm eating bad or if I drink too consistently. Um, I need to actually do some meal preps. Because when I'm streaming, it's like, you know, I stream pretty much eight hours straight, eight, nine hours, and I usually eat in the middle of it. And if I don't have anything prepped, you know, sometimes I'll order or sometimes I'll just like take something out of the freezer, like a frozen dinner or something like that and use that, which I usually get like lean cuisines and stuff like that. You know, it's not like all the worst thing, but I don't really have a plan. I usually just start the day and figure it out as I go. Uh, and what else could I do health wise? Obviously drinking, drinking alcohol. That's obviously a super, super big crutch for uh, my health in general, just drinking alcohol, whether it's beer, hard liquor, whatever it might be. I don't really get drunk hardly ever, but I do drink consistently, you know, like, I don't think it's like, I have some problem with drinking. It's more or less just, I know it's just not good for me. So I want to stop, but it's obviously when you don't feel like you have a real problem, then it almost makes it hard to stop because it's like, it's not that big of a deal. But at the same time, it's like, it's not good for you. So it's just, that's a, that should be a big enough problem. But yeah, so cutting down drinking in general is always good. Coffee. Oh. Coffee. I mean, if you guys know, coffee for me is like, man, I'm way more coffee than any alcohol has ever been because I need it. I need my coffee. So with all those things, working out, eating better, less drinking, less coffee. The way I would look at it is one thing at a time. Not like tomorrow I am going to eat healthy, work out, and not drink alcohol and only drink water, not coffee. Like I can't do that all. I can't go a whole day switching all that just cold turkey. I just, I know I won't. I could maybe for a day or two, but I know I'll end up cracking and it'll just be like a, you know, it'll just fall hard kind of. And then you'll feel like I failed and I can't do this. So I'm going to try to... Cutting out the drinking is probably going to be the easiest thing for me, honestly. I've actually been not drinking nearly as much lately anyway. Uh, my sister was like, oh, I'm going to take a, I'm just going to quit drinking for a little bit. Just take a little break from it. And my sister is always like the life of the party. And, you know, it's always like, you know, let's do shots and always have a good time. So she quit and it's been, I think, like four months now on Thanksgiving. She said I think it was like 120 something days. And... On Thanksgiving, usually, you know, Thanksgiving, one of my favorite things to do is show up, grab a Bud Light at like 10.30, 11 o'clock while we're eating the little snacks. Eat a bunch of food and then, you know, three, four beers in, just pass out on the couch, sleep. It's like, oh, wake up, eat leftovers and pie. Like, oh, that's like the, that's like the goal. But I didn't even drink anything at my grandma's house. I just drank a water. I think I had like a Coca-Cola. And like, I had a, co a coffee at one point. But that was it. And then, it, I... Didn't even like think, I don't, not even for a second was I like, oh, I want a beer right now. Didn't even like, didn't even think about it. I just decided, I was like, ah, eh, she's not drinking. My wife was just asked for a water. She was thirsty. I just grabbed a water. You know, it's just, I didn't even like think about it. Everyone around was having champagne and people having beers and just, that wasn't a problem. So I think cutting out drinking is going to be probably the first thing and the easiest thing for me to do. Uh, the hardest part for me to stop drinking is going out to watch football games. You know, we go out to a bar. You know, if regulars at, you know, a certain club that we go to that we like to eat at, watch the games, and we have our custom mugs there that we drink our beers in. But uh, me and my wife, we, we've gone there before and just gotten waters and salads. Like, not the end of the world, but sometimes it's like, you know, have a long day or, ugh, excuse me, I'm obviously just in the mood for a beer, but so that's first step. We'll be working on that. So that one, I don't really rate it too difficult. You know, cutting out drinking or just cutting it down even more than I have been. That's kind of kind of already working on it. So I'm writing these down. Alcohol equals down. <laughs> I don't know what this means. All right. And then diet. My diet, I don't think it's really, my diet's really not say it's not that horrible but it's pretty bad i do eat like a lot of like chicken wings and 
burger. Oh, I love burgers. If I could find like a healthy burger. Like I have, there's like a, obviously there's like veggie burgers and stuff like that that aren't bad. But the problem with burgers is like the bread, you know, like trying to enjoy something like along those lines, but it's just all the carbs and stuff from all the bread. Usually the worst thing. Let me write down less bread. Uh, more veggies. I need to like think of some, if you guys have any ideas for any of these things, please let me know. Of just like typical diet. I'm not very picky with diets. I don't really like peppers and onions all that much. So like a lot of people do like, you know, peppers with like a low fat cream cheese and everything bagel seasoning. It's like, eh. My wife does that sometimes. I'll, I'll eat like a piece or two and I'm like, eh, I'm working. I'm trying to enjoy it more. If they're cooked onions and peppers, like in a, like a one pot recipe, there's a bunch of stuff together. I can do that, but not a big fan of raw onions and peppers. Uh, so less bread, more veggies. Fruit is another thing I feel like I do need to eat more of. I just feel like I never know when I want to eat fruit because it feels like a dessert. You know, I feel like if I'm eating like strawberries, it feels like I'm eating a snack, like a dessert. And I feel like because it tastes good and I feel like it's fruit, so it's healthy. I just eat so much of it and it ends up just backfiring. <laughs> but I'll write fruit down. I might go food shopping. Not tonight. No, not tonight, but I'll go, t I'll go tomorrow. Probably take the day off streaming tomorrow and go. Um, workout. And it's pretty much two things with fitness or health in general. It's just diet and exercise. Pretty much the two main aspects. So alcohol already written. Keep going down. Diet. Simple stuff. Less bread, more veggies and fruit. Um workouts I need to the workouts on stream I think I'm going to start with right away and I think I'm just going to limit them I'll probably do squats push-ups maybe just squats and push-ups I might just do those two exercises and limit it to like you know five sets of each or something like that for the first day because I mean, if that that would be ten total, which would be a hundred dollars. If I get donated a hundred dollars over the course of my stream, I would do all my workouts. Which, I mean, like I said, this week I probably made like fifteen dollars, so I might not do like many workouts at all. Sometimes I get hundreds of dollars in a stream, so I gotta. That's why I have to put a cap on it. Um, and then off stream, um, it's very cold outside now. It's almost December, so running in the cold for me is horrible. I can't do it. I would love to. I wish I could, but the cold air hurts my lungs so bad. Um, so I could go to the gym and do just like treadmill, like just walking on a treadmill and some light jogging. And, um, I just gotta figure out a time schedule for that. So let me write that down. Gym. Underline it a bunch of times because I want to go to the gym. Uh, I'll have to figure out a schedule for it because currently I've been testing out a, a schedule of streaming from like 8 a.m. to about 4 p.m. doing about eight hours straight kind of fluctuates a little bit between like seven and eight and like three and four four and five o'clock but it's pretty much just like one bulky stream uh, I would love to go to the gym in the morning but I'm so bad at waking up on time I'm so bad at waking up on time I'm married to a woman who doesn't like to go to bed she wants to stay up forever she has FOMO and she feels like when she goes to sleep she's missing out on everything so she only goes to sleep when she like is exhausted and passes out so I think it would have to be afterwards um but the problem with that for me is also just tough sometimes like you know you have a you know, getting off of eight hours straight streaming eating everything on stream and just as soon as you're done it's like I'd have to pretty much get up and go to the gym or I could go late. I'll have to check the hours because they used to be 24 hours and not anymore. But if I go late, my because my wife, she likes, she used to go to the gym with me and she used to like going. We were doing it for a little while, a couple years ago. And she actually did enjoy going. So I'll have to, maybe, maybe going like, you know, 10 p.m. or something like that or 9 p.m. could work out if they're open at that time. So I'll keep that in mind. 
in the next episode, I'll probably recap and see what I decided to end up doing for that. Um, yeah, so that'll be kind of my day to day for the streaming. It'll be wake up, hopefully have like a pre pre prepped prepped. That's the word I was thinking of a pre prepared meal or just something light for breakfast and then have stuff ready for lunchtime. And then coffee. I'm not even going to bother with coffee yet. I'm going to keep that untouched. I'm just going to keep drinking coffee like I drink coffee and I'm going to keep working the alcohol down. I do a pretty good job of drinking a lot of water. I like drinking water, so that shouldn't be an issue. Um, try to get the workouts in on stream. Try to eat a little healthier during the day in general. And then see if I can get to the gym late at night. That might work. I'll talk to my wife about it, but that'd be kind of the plan. We'll see how it goes. So I uh, always have to figure out time for editing content and stuff like that. I might end up shortening the streams. Instead of doing eight hours, I might do like six. Maybe I'll start at like 10 o'clock to like four and go to the gym in the morning. There'll be options. There'll be options. But like I said, I'll update on the next in the next podcast. Um, but yeah, I mean, as you can see, just being healthy is not easy. Like there's some people who are in the habit of going to the gym in the habit of eating healthy and they're in great shape and they love maintaining it. And it's just, it's almost like their hobby. Um, it's almost what it has to become. It has to become something you enjoy doing to really do good at it. So I'm going to start focusing on that big time um, for the end of the year. So yeah, that was a nice sort of just a session of me <laughs> figuring out my own life. But if you guys got any ideas, uh, obviously I'll be in the Discord. For most of the people listening to this, you're probably already in the Discord. If not, um, hit me up. It might be in the description of the YouTube video uh, of this because it is posted on YouTube as well as on Anchor. So it's on, uh, if you're listening to on Spotify or iTunes, or whatever it might be on. Uh, if you find HGV Breezy on YouTube, find the YouTube channel and the, I think the Discord link is in the description of other videos. So. But yeah, give me any ideas you guys got for, you know, meal preps, um, light workouts I might be able to do at the house maybe for like a little bit of cardio and whatnot. And yeah, thank you guys for hanging out, listening. If you guys like this, leave a comment, whatever platform it might be on or follow it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.